And by the way, this is really important, they haven't identified any breed connection to this. It's important. Actually, we're probably really flooding a lot of these puppies, and that's causing them to be afraid because they're overwhelmed. And if we go slower, there's, a, there's a one recipe for every dog. That's something that comes up a lot in puppy classes, is we, we want to teach one class, but we've really got six or eight individuals, and really, I think we need to be teaching six or eight classes. It's different. And then, of course, traumatic events. And this can refer both to single event learning or I cannot count how many times people have said, my dog keeps attacking other dogs at the dog park. <laughs> Think about that. Think about that sentence. <laughs> and then I say, well, how many times has this occurred? Oh, gosh, I can't keep track. Well, every time that that has occurred, the, the recipients of those attacks has changed. Their behavior is now going to change, right? And, it doesn't mean that that dog is now going to be reactive or aggressive, but it, again, it's a drop in a bucket towards that. And we're going to look more into every time that the dog that does the attacking does it, they're more likely to do it again. So it works both directions. But traumatic events on either side of it, they add up and they, and they stack over and over.